Hey guys, James again with TFB TV, and today I am at Holy Mecca, Smyrna, Glock HQ, uh, here in the United States. I'm here with Chris Edwards. Chris is the range master here at Smyrna, and I'm here for the Glock operator course. Just completed it. It was incredible, uh, an awesome experience, and they're going to be offering that up. Uh, it, it's going to be open to yep, the... It already is open uh, if you're a GSSF member or... You're just a, a regular police officer or somebody that's in the military that wants to learn how to operate your Glock safely, efficiently, and well. I'm a hell of a gunfighter from three yard line, ain't no doubt about it. That's because it hides a lot of my mistakes. I think James can tell you that uh, he's had a pretty good time here. Yeah, yeah, it was a blast. And then the cherry on top. This is a special thing that they did for us. We got to go to town on the Glock 18. And I'm going to show some of that footage here. But Chris actually gave me a lot of really good information about the Glock 18, its purpose, its origin. Chris? Sure. Well, this is a uh, uh, third generation Glock 18. As you can tell, it looks a little bit like a Glock 17 from the outside. Uh, from the right hand side like that but then as you start to turn it over you'll see that there's some differences uh, this is the compensated model 18c we've got several cuts in the barrel and we also have a, a cutout in the slide um, basically what that helps is to reduce the muzzle flip. if you go around the other way though I'm gonna lock this slide to the rear um, and just look at it this way here's the Here's the, what we call the fun switch. Well, that's one of the names for it. Up is in semi-automatic fire, and down is for fully automatic fire. If I want to rotate it down, just take the thumb, swipe down, it's in automatic mode. Now when I press the trigger, it's gonna go right a tat tat, right? After I get finished taking care of business, I take the thumb and flip it back up into semi-automatic mode. Good deal? Yeah. There's no burst control. Your finger, as you found out, James, is your burst control. Mm -hmm. Um, you can fire two shots, three shots of the whole 33 round magazine all in one burst. The background of this pistol is basically Mr. Glock originally developed it for two reasons. First of all, to test his components because it fires very rapidly, heats up very quickly, puts a lot of strain on the Glock components as far as that's concerned. The second thing is after he developed it, found out that there was a need for it in anti-terrorism work, special operations, SWAT teams. Those, uh, that's, uh, that's basically it. I got to put that footage right here. You were shooting this thing one-handed. I've, I've shot a Glock 18 before and you know we got to shoot it at the range, but I've never seen that. Uh, I mean, how much more controllable is the 18C than the standard yeah, Glock 18? I would say probably with the, with the compensation right there, you're probably talking about 30% uh, less muzzle flip. Um, really though, as you know, a lot of shooting is just basically technique. Um, so you really have to emphasize your stance, a good firm grip, um, and lean into the, into the recoil of the pistol. Push, right? It starts to push. But when I get into it, I gotta get behind it. Because this is what is gonna show how my stance is. Other part of it is, is as far as one-handed shooting. Uh, basically, what we're doing is, is we're trying to, uh, we're trying to punch with the pistol. We lock up our arm like so. As you can see it's like throwing a punch, you know. And at the instant that it locks out like that, I fire a short burst. So what do I have to do with my stance if I want to really get this thing to eat? You basically want to exaggerate your normal shooting stance. You want your weight very far forward, um, and you want to. Uh, uh, really kind of a death grip on the pistol itself with two hands if you possibly can. I'm going to go do a quick demo in reference to how to properly shoot the Glock 18. When it's in semi-automatic mode, it shoots and feels just like the G17. Okay, so when I have it in semi-automatic mode with the selector lever pushed up, it shoots and feels just like the Glock 17. Okay, so if I shot a couple of rounds in semi-automatic mode, I can keep my stance just like my normal fighting stance. Athletic, get aggressive behind the gun, I'm gonna shoot one round at a time. So in semi-automatic mode, it shoots and feels like the 17. Once I rotate the selector switch down to fully automatic mode, now I'm gonna modify my stance slightly, cause now, 
the gun will tell me whether or not I'm shooting aggressive and if my grip is good. So I'm gonna slightly step back a little further. I'm gonna lean really into it. So I'm gonna lean really into it to get my weight behind the gun. So I'm pushing on the gun as the gun is pushing up against me, helps the gun to run. So we're gonna rotate the selector switch down to full auto mode. Nice tight grip, lean into it. Yeah, I think so. Work with it. So, uh, there you have it. Hey, this is uh, Chris Bartachi from Small Arm Solutions. Uh, we're here at Glock Inc. and we have an opportunity to take a look at the Model 17 versus the Model 18, the unknown Glock. Uh, the Glock 18 machine pistol, which is one of the rarest of the Glocks, uh, has some major differences between this Model 17. Uh, the Model 17 and the, and the 18, the major components are not interchangeable by no means. First of all, we take a look at the slide and we'll see the selector lever. You have a top is, uh, is uh, semi, bottom is full auto. So the, the real differences are going to be in the inside, which we're going to go ahead and we're going to disassemble. Empty. First, we'll take a look at the slides themselves. Take a look right here. When you have it on fully automatic, this lever switches this notch up here. What this notch does here on fully automatic is it will grip this, it'll knock this area right here. Once the pistol comes to full recoil, goes forward, the slide goes into the lock position, then this will trip this location right here. That's what fires your next shot, your next shot, and your next shot until the trigger is released. So this is what actually is responsible for full auto, this along with uh, this cruciform. That's number one change. Number two change is the frames themselves. You can look at the cruciforms, semi-automatic only versus the, the uh, fully automatic selective fire. You notice there's a, this, the notch right up in here. This is the, the main uh, difference. You can also see that these housings are not the same. These two are not interchangeable. You cannot put a Glock 18 housing in a Model 17. You can't put a 17 in an 18. Um, some other work has been done to make sure these are not interchangeable as well. We're going to take a Glock 17 uh, frame, and then we're going to take the Glock 18 slide, and we're going to see they don't match. The location of the rails has been, has been uh, made higher on the Glock 18 slide, so it will not interchange with the frame. So these are, the, these are the main differences right here. The frames are not interchangeable, the trigger mechanisms are not interchangeable, the slides are not interchangeable, plus we have our, uh, our selective area right here. The comparison between the Glock Model 17 and 18, this is just a brief uh, uh, overview for James. Um, if you want to see the full video and, uh, and all the additional information, please check out my YouTube channel. We have a one day course. Um, it's, uh, we teach probably only a couple of times a year because it is a pretty rare pistol. Um, uh, well, the Glock 18 course, yes, one day course, shoot a thousand rounds in one day and we're teaching you this, basically <laughs> burst control, mm -hmm. okay, and um, one of the things that, uh, um, one of the things in that course though also is um, we teach, you know, we go through um, two-handed stance, really emphasizing, um, you know, firm grip and even overemphasizing the normal stance. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I just had the best couple of days doing this course. Uh, this was, Chris is the absolute man, total stud right here. Yeah. Now, and, and I mean that, this, all the guys here, the entire crew, yep. uh, very well put together team. Yep. I enjoyed it. Glock 18, cherry on top. Yep, and we Chris, appreciate it. I really Thank appreciate it. Thank you for coming. It. Thank you, and Chris. We appreciate it. I hope everyone enjoyed this very rare and unusual behind the scenes look at a very rare and unusual firearm the glock 18 thank you to ventura munitions and proxy bid our sponsors thank you to you guys for watching thank you to our patreon supporters and a very very special thanks to chris edwards and everyone at glock usa for giving us this opportunity see you guys next week